What's up guys, Jay Yudlowski, Focus Photography and Design, helping you focus on your photography. If you like Photoshop, Lightroom, and photography, consider subscribing to my channel. I try to release a new video every week. In this video, I want to talk about a new program I'm using to edit my videos in. So let's get into it. So I used to use iMovie and ScreenFlow to edit my videos in, but I was looking to get something a little more advanced. Now I really wanted to use Premiere Pro, but I wasn't ready to spend the money on uh, the subscription fees for Adobe. I do do the photography plan right now, which is Lightroom and Photoshop, but I wasn't ready to spend uh, the money to do the full suite yet. So I found another program that I didn't even know was out there, and it's been awesome, and it's great. So I'm gonna share that with you now. So let's jump over to the computer and check out DaVinci Resolve. I forgot to mention, one of the best parts about DaVinci Resolve is it's free. So let's get into it. To get your free copy of DaVinci Resolve, all you have to do is go to Blackmagic Design's website. It's blackmagicdesign.com. So here we are on their webpage here, and you can see right at the top, introducing DaVinci Resolve 15. So they just came out with version 15, which is a beta version. So all you have to do is click on that. That'll bring you to another screen here where you'll be able to download the program. So go ahead and download the program that you need, install it on your machine, and you'll be good to get going with it. So here I am opening DaVinci Resolve, and I'm gonna show you the basic layout of the program. There's so much that you can do with this program that it's, it's, it's pretty crazy. So um, I'll just pick something uh, here. Here, we'll go with this. A little test file I had where I was just trying some different things. So to get started, down here you have different tabs that you can work in. So the first tab here is your media tab where you select the clips that you wanna use for your video. So over here, you can browse through your files and find the videos that you want to bring in and they'll show up here. And all you have to do is drag them down into the timeline. And then down here, you'll get your video in the timeline. You have a little preview window here that you can see what, what the video looks like. So this screen here is basically just for importing and organizing your footage. Over here, you can make bins to put your footage in, like which are just like folders. Um, the other thing that you can do is if you have a finder window open or explorer, you can just take files and just drag them right in here and it'll bring them into uh, your, your test file in this case. The next tab down here is the edit tab. This is where your timeline lives um, and where you do all your editing for your video. Um, the first window here shows you a preview of what's in your bin, which is basically all the clips that you added from the first screen. So if you just click over here, and I double click on it, you'll see this gives me a preview uh, of, of what the video is. If I click on this one, we see a preview here of what the video is. And then when I want to add it to the timeline, I just drag it, gra grab it and drag it down. Now it'll bring the audio and the video with it. But let's say I just wanted the video. So over here, you have the option to select just the audio or just the video. So let's say, for example, I want to bring this whole clip down, just the video, drag it. And there you go, brings down just the video. So over here is where you would do all of your normal editing. You can add text. There's different effects and different kinds of uh, transitions and generators, uh, all kinds of really cool stuff that I'm just starting to learn how to use and how to get into. The next tab here is Fusion. In the Fusion tab here, this gives you a ton of different ways to create different effects, uh, whether it be with text or videos. Um, this whole area of nodes and these kind of things are new to me, so it's another thing that I'm learning. But it looks like you can do a lot of really cool things with it. The next tab over here is your color tab. And this allows you to add LUTs to your video or change the colors if you you know need to adjust, uh, you know, you want to make your video brighter and you'll see a live preview up here of things changing. You can change the color. Gamma, lift, so you can play with all these things and, and get a nice color grade that you like on your video. Or you can add a LUT, um, and it's all done through nodes, so you can create multiple nodes, which is essentially like layers. So if you're a photographer, you're familiar with layers in Photoshop, a node is very similar to a layer in the fact that you apply changes to the layer, which goes on top of your original video, so you don't actually change your original video. And you can have multiple layers, for example, a, uh, a vignette here. You know, if I click on this node here and I, uh, let's see, what do I just 
drag up the contrast so you can see it changes changes it there so you make all, all kinds of uh, color correcting and uh, uh, those kind of video changes tracking things you would do that in this tab the next tab is a full mixer here for all of your audio this is great I do have uh, somewhat of a background in audio and running audio uh, sound boards and things um, I've done it for my church for a bunch of years and uh, it, it's great I love audio stuff I think it's really cool it's very interesting on how you can play with frequencies change pitches all that kind of stuff so in here this tab gives you the ability to have EQs insert effects uh, change the dynamics the pan it gives you a lot of options on editing your audio for your videos whether it's music talking uh, vocals, sound effects, whatever it is, you can do a ton with editing audio in this tab. And the final tab here is exporting your video. So up over here, starting on the left, you'll see they have some different presets of things that you might, or of ways you might want to export your file. Uh, for me, a lot of times it's YouTube, you know, 1080, and it sets everything up for you. And then all you have to do is make sure your settings are the way you want them. Click add to render queue. It adds it over here on the right hand side and you would just click start render. And it will keep this, um, this I guess I'll call it a preset. I don't know that's really a preset, but it'll keep this, this queue so that if you went back and made changes to your timeline, you can then come back or made changes to your video. You can then come back over here and export the video the same way you did uh, when you initially set it up. So that's just a quick, real quick run through of uh, DaVinci Resolve, the different tabs that it's got, and, and a real quick, general, very basic, uh, uh, how the program's laid out um, view for you. And, you know, I originally wanted to use uh, Adobe Premiere, and I think this is very similar to Adobe Premiere, um, and it's free. And the amount of, of things that you can do with this program is pretty incredible considering it's free. So I would recommend that you try it, go download it, check it out, give it a shot, and uh, I think it'll help you take your videos to the next level if you're already using iMovie or ScreenFlow or a simpler version of one of these video editing programs. So there you have it, that's DaVinci Resolve 15. You can get it downloaded for free from their website, so go check it out, and uh, maybe down the road a little bit, I'll share just some more uh, videos on DaVinci Resolve, on what I'm learning, and, and just figuring out how to do stuff. I know there's some good people out there on YouTube already, that have some great videos on how to do things in DaVinci Resolve. So get in there, try it out, and see what you can make. Thanks for stepping by and checking out my YouTube channel. If you like Photoshop, Lightroom, and photography, consider subscribing to my channel. I try to release a new video every week. Can you believe DaVinci Resolve is free? That's fantastic. I didn't know about that. How did I not know about that? I don't know, but I know about it now, and so do you. Subscribe over here, subscribe over there, new videos over here.